Hello, this is me, Judge James Ad, and I thought I'd do a very quick video about Xbox emulation. I did a video about two years ago about emulating the Xbox original on a PC, and I did a game called Buffy Vampire Slayer, for, that was the exclusive for the Xbox, it wasn't released on PlayStation 2. And there was a program called XDVD Mulitor, which is a really terrible program that you need to use to convert the ISO, which is, I've got one here. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. I played this on PS2. The difference between PlayStation 2 games and Xbox originals is that PlayStation 2 versions just run off the disc. Whereas with the Xbox, you've got to install it rather like a PC. It has to be installed onto a partition. And what I've done is I found a program that replaces that XDVD Mulitor program which is utterly useless and it's really simple so what you do is it's already on it says ISO extraction you just click that you go add you go looking for your ISO that's that Buffy game and then you tell it where you want to put it and what you do is you just stick it in a folder anywhere you want find a folder that where you want to put it that one and then you go OK and then it just tells you that, just ignore that and then you go start and you get this and this is the most straightforward program I've seen because there is another one that where you can use the it's a program that uses a scripting language and whatever and it's a little bit involved, it involves command lines and I'm like I want somebody that just runs through a front end where you just tell it where the ISO is and then you stick it where you want it to put it and it does it and that's all I want and this program does that so that's why I'm making this video because the, the program I had before was quite old I think it was Vista era so that does that and it does that and then where I put the folder here this is the XBE is the bit you want to the, the actual executable so you go open XBE I've already done this already because I did a test earlier and Buffy R, that's the one I made, there it is XBE and it gives this thing, it says this is dangerous and maliciously modified Xbox applications could take it to system, I just ignore that go yes and then just a quick thing, if you want to change the video you basically, this is what it will display as what you'll be seeing it as. I've got it on 1024 because I've got a widescreen and it might look stretched. And then your native, unless you've got a very modern machine, I'd leave it a native or go 1280, uh, 1280 by 960, possibly go 1080. I don't know why you want to go higher. That's going to be like insane. I'd, I'd leave it on native. So I leave these stock as well. You can go, you can take it out of that, but it goes windowed. So accept that. You can change the, this game is a, I think it's a European version, so you go EEPROM and then you can change your setting, I'll go on Rest of the World because it's not an American game, it's not a Japanese, it's not manufacturing, and uh, you've got PAL, NTSC, some games are PAL or NTSC, just change that as you need, otherwise it might not run, and then DVD region, I'll leave that as free. And then you go start, so you've got XBE, you load it XBE, and then you go start, and it does that. And it's working. Yay. That's very loud. Hang on. I've got a Logitech controller. Ignore that, that's going to get me copyright. Eurocom. And, uh,. This will mean you can play your favourite games on Xbox on your PC. And I'll talk over this because we get a copyright strike on that. So this is a an official game. It's not a fan game or anything. Why's my thing not working? Right. There it is. New game. And we'll go. Yes. Okay. So don't turn off your Xbox console, or you'll get a copyright strike. That's it. That that is copyright music. I will get into trouble if I leave that on there. This is the, based on the popular TV series of the time. There's a lot of cutscenes in this as well. This is a game I really struggled on, like really struggled on. The graphics look very similar. They're a bit stretched. I don't know if they're going to come out on my screen recorder very well. And uh, a very party. similar. Whose idea was this? I'll kill ya. Not that I don't appreciate the thought, but who invited the vampire? Don't look at me. I wanted Anya to jump out of a cake. 
Wait, that was for my birthday. And much as we'd love to hear that story... Not an easy game, so it's quite a difficult game. It shows you a little bit there, you just basically beat him up and it's bloody annoying. And you find some stakes so I'm going to get him. Press the punch and kick buttons to counter your attackers. It's holding your hand, basically. For an effective defense against attacking Where's my... There it is. I see where I'm going. Sometimes it sends you the wrong way. But I used to do it. That's it. Got him. I used to really struggle at this when I first played it. I was like really bad at it. That's it. Okay, got him. I did play the um, Xbox exclusive. Uh, there's two games. There's this game and there's a previous one. It's only Xbox exclusive and it's very similar. Listen. If you need to review your objectives at any time, well, select your diary oh, in the damn. They just come out of nowhere, it's just funny. Got it. You should never have left the crypt today. Cutscene. That's it, I'm out of here. But this ain't over by a long shot, girly girl. Girly girl? Who are you calling girly? Giles always puts the books with real power up here. Here, book, book, book. And don't I hope it doesn't answer back? I'd better search. Yeah, you play as different characters. They drop you in as different characters. Lucky's my middle name, and also clumsy. So this should be helpful. It's not an easy game. I did struggle with this quite bad. I get rage quitting on it. it. Took me about three months, four months to complete it. I just couldn't do it. And eventually got the hang of it. Finally. Will you need to climb down that ladder? Oh. <laughs> just run up to, to grab <laughs> hold. I need to get hold of a thing. Lucky's my middle name, and also clumsy, so this should be helpful. I need to get the key, don't the I? Key to the bo yeah, it gives you lots of hints and holds your hand in the first part of the game. It is looking a bit sort of stretched. I could be just my monitor. I'm not sure if it's coming out looking a bit widescreen. It's well, not a widescreen game. Ah, the sun spell. That should do the trick. This gives you the ability to set vampires on fire. So. Oh, no, he's having a go. Kill him. It's running There's fairly so well. It's slightly. Like if you try oh, pressing the sun and magic button twice. You can cast a fire over will, if you have difficulties remembering how to cast your spells, then select your magic book in the inventory. No, face away. Damn it. Willow! You're okay? Yep, I managed. Well, me and Mr. Krause and this really bad habit vampires have of never wearing sunscreen. Oh, God. I have to get the, um... Oh, I'm just a human, I know, a minute. Gotta get the, uh, the thing here. Ready? Damn, this is not easy. Got it. I'm facing like I'm looking at myself, so that's quite difficult. Oh, he's got me. Damn it. Oh, dude. Let's get it. Got it. Got it. It does drop you in a deep end. Doesn't give you any. Doesn't give a nice, gentle. Can't see what I'm doing. Come on. It does do that thing where it puts the camera in front of you. That's kind of a bit disorienting. That's working quite well. I mean, my CPU is like it's thirty percent actually, not too bad. I want an i5 Ivy Bridge, third gen, third gen i series. Took it on nicely. No, pick it up. Pick it up Time to now, how do I use that crossbow again? Wait, it's on the tip of my. Oh, right. Once it's equipped, if I hold the strafe or target buttons, I should find it much easier to aim with. Well, yeah, I don't work under pressure very well. That's the problem. Get in. Nice. <laughs> and look at that. Vampire Zilch, Xander Harris, still alive. But no Anya, no Terran here. Which means the basement. And I become Spike, and this isn't even funny. Bloody hell. Damn it. 
Ah, oh, buddy, I need to get a. Let's be spot. My buttons are messed up, damn it. I know the pressure I know it's on me. Get in, get in. I forgot about these guys. Alas, poor Yorick. Oh. There we are. Numb skull. Works pretty well. I mean, it's. Last time I played this was about two years ago. I think I did it on Windows 7. So, on the same machine, but. Um, controls are weird. They thought they, the controls were inverted, which is a bit weird. Slight glitch in there. I don't know what that is. If that's. It's a bit glitchy, but. Um, otherwise, it seems to be quite fast. Come on, Spike. Even a vampire should know that to open a door, all you've got to do is stand by the handle and press the U. What I don't like about this game is it uses checkpoints. Is if you die between checkpoints, you have to play the whole thing again from the last checkpoint. I'll go to hell. It's not funny. Checkpoints are a bit kind of unfair. I'm not going to health. I've got no health. Where's my health at? This version of CXPX for those is a lot more stable than the last one. I think this is two years down the line so since I last actually used this uh, emulator. So the newest download works really well. The menu's working better on the older. Can't open the door. If I don't get to the next checkpoint, I will have to play that again. Well, I can't fight any help. Looking for health. Don't think I'll be drinking this. Come on, Spike. I always seem to get killed. A lot of stuff around here could be destroyed, like that table, for instance. You gonna let it stand in your way? This is a 700 megahertz CPU. This is emulator. Hello there. This is quite interesting. What's this? I could do with health, to be honest. There's no health. Why is there no health? I still have some in my inventory. Hold on a minute. No, there isn't. Any health, I'm probably gonna die again because I played this bit already early and I died. Oh, damn it. What? Did you forget how to fight since I saw you last? You want to throw someone, just press the punch and kick buttons together. You can toss a vamp under broken pieces of wood to dust them. Oh, it's two of them. Ah, oh, great. I'm out of practice, to be honest. I don't think I'll be drinking this. Box. Key? Do I need a key? Oh, we'll stop on this section. I don't want to go through the entire game. This is not an easy game, and I struggled at it before, but... Can I go back in it? There was a secret thing I had to do. See, I've forgotten now. There's a door here. Secret door? Don't want to be hijacked by somebody. Oh, okay. Oh, you put the thing in the mouth of the uh, gargoyle. That was it. I need a key, right? Someone's little hidey hole. Let's take a peek. Baseball. Too many day games. I really don't need a. I need a key, right? That was. The... Oh, I. <laughs> oh, I know this thing. I don't know. Right, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing then. <laughs> How embarrassing. I forgot what i got to do, where the key is. Is it here? 
I have definitely completed this game. I just didn't do a commentary on it when I did it last time because I was so incensed and I was so crap at it and I was like really struggling. I can't find this key. Okay, unless it's in this room, that'd be more embarrassing. Okay, where's the key at? Oh, that. <laughs> Where there's a key, there must be a door. Try to get to part of this bit because I'm not going to better get past it. I'm a knight in bloody armor. Xander, you're in one piece. And look, goodies, goodies with which Buffy can make the vampires into lots of pieces. No sign of Anya and Tara. Nope. I'm headed for the basement to back Spike up, or to dust him. Depends if he's rescued them. Yeah, this is about as far as I'm going to go, because I don't know if I'm, I must have got past the um, checkpoint. If you get to the checkpoint, it, it puts you back at the previous one, and it's sometimes a bloody long way. We're working together now. Enjoy your little victory, Slayer. Soon, Kakistos will destroy you and yours once what and for all. What are you smoking, Spanky? Kakistos is dead, and so, by the way, are you. What was that about? Kakistos is dead, isn't he? Really, most sincerely dead. Saw Faith kill him myself. Night all. Next time you're having a party like this one, leave me off the invite list, yeah? Tara! A few cuts and bruises, but it looks like we're all okay. Now we just have to figure out where they all came from. The last one Buffy killed mentioned Kikistos. Kikistos? Well, what's this about Kikistos? He can't possibly be behind this. Whatever the case, I've just had a phone call from Wesley that confuses matters even further. Apparently, Kikistos Faith is no longer was the in the only her thing cell. Faith was ever afraid of. I can't not think there's a connection here. Willow and I could perform a spell to confirm that Kakistos is really dead, but we'd need to do it in the same place where he was supposedly Good. killed. I'm going to patrol. Focus on the cemeteries. I'll remain in touch with Wesley. Meanwhile, however, this place is a shambles. If I want to be open for business if? tomorrow... What do you mean, if? Tomorrow's a Saturday. Lots of people bring us their money on Saturday. Well, then, Anya, I'm sure you'll be equally enthusiastic about helping restore a bit of order around You have fun here. doing that, sweetie. Me, I'm going along to the factory. Willow and Tara may... There's a bit of an issue there with the um, audio. But the... Uh, they keep talking over each other. I wanted to get to this point if I want to play it a bit further because I don't want to play that one again. So yeah, I'll stop there, that's fine. And um, this is the one with the graveyard, is it? Oh, this is a very hard one. I won't go any further. Long that's time no enough. Z, Slayer. How's tricks? So that was just a quick heads up on this program here. I'll leave a link in the description which allows you to take the ISO which won't run as is, you have to convert it or and pack it basically like a real Xbox does into its constituent parts and then you just add it and tell it where you want to put it and you start it and that's nice and straightforward if I can do it, you can do it I'll stop here and I'll be back thank you for watching and until next time, bye